Hey, this is Molly Gold, and I'm the president and founder of Go Mom Inc. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm sharing step three in my photo organization series. If you saw step two, it was a mess. My entire living room floor was covered with all of the pictures, all of the mittens, you name it, it had come out of the closet I'm about to show you. The goal was to get all of my pictures in one place so that I can work on my parents' 50th wedding anniversary photo album that I'll be doing online. So here's what I'm left with that I wasn't able to put into the closet. Whenever you do a project like that, you're probably gonna have remnants. These are photos that I sourced that I knew that I would want to use in the photo book. I'm also going to be adding these to a bigger collection of photos that I have gotten from my parents recently. I just very boldly said, I need your pictures, please don't ask me why. This is just a box of crumbs, miscellaneous, some random memorabilia, some birthday cards, some pictures from a class project, a life magazine, all just things that need to find another home. And right here, this is an entire box of pictures that need to be filed chronologically. Why are these crumbs? This box right here is something I can do when I feel like it in the evenings on these cold winter nights that are coming soon. This is another thing where I can pull this out one night and go through half of it and go ahead and get things back to the place that they need to be. Whenever you do a project like this, it's a big undertaking. You want to anticipate that you may have a few little crumbs, a few little pieces that represent a bit of an ongoing process, but you don't have to do it right when you're doing everything else. If I would have spent the time to put all of these away, it would have gotten in front of what my goal was, which was to get to the bigger pile of everything that I wanted to work with for that photo book. So here's the big reveal on my big, bad, ugly closet. I know everybody loves seeing an actual chaotic closet in my house, but you had to know that wasn't gonna last for very long. My goal in finishing this closet was to repurpose with storage tools that I already had in the house from other projects. While it would be wonderful to outfit this closet with a professional closet organization system, that was not in our budget right now. You don't need budget to stand in the way of a project. Reuse what you have. So. I did go out and for $19 buy a rolling coat rack. Remember, my coat rack was completely blocking me from all the storage. Now, I have no problem with that. If a tornado comes, we got it covered. Not a problem. I have plenty of room for my vacuum. Kids can get that easily. No problem. And then step inside. What you'll see is that way up high is where I put all of the photos that are already organized chrono chronologically and I likely won't get to it. This is. 1995 through 2005, I really don't need much in there. If I do, I get my step stool, I pull down the box and I'm good to go. Right in here, this is work. This is the work in progress. I've got some scrapbooking files. I didn't want to get rid of them. I really probably won't ever scrapbook in a major way, but my daughter loves to do things with photos, so why get rid of some supplies that are good? Right in here, I've got some scrapbooks from some vacations to Disney World, sports photos for the kids, Bottom line is now if I decide that I want to scrapbook, I have things easily accessible. School photos are all right here. Every sports team photo, all right here. Those are something that I'll likely do something with. So now I can just get in and out and I'm good to go. Over here we've got mittens for both mom and dad and the kids. My daughter loved to help me with that. And then we've also got some supplies. This is for the digital age. I've got some CDs that I can burn things to. I've got some photo paper weather radio, and a flashlight. First aid kit up high. Bottom line is this is our safe closet, God forbid we have inclement weather. And then finally, this is where I have a couple of our cameras that we use and some CDs because this is the future. Oh, what a difference it will make when I don't need nearly as much storage. But in the meantime, now, when it comes to photo organization, I can go ahead and I can find what I need up top. I can keep that process going I can sit down on a cold night and decide I'm going to go ahead and make a photo album and pull out a certain year and start slapping those bad boys in there and I'll be done. I know every time I get class pictures where I want to put them, every time I get a team photo where I want to put them. And you know, just by having it easily accessible, it encourages me to pursue that creative endeavor when I feel like it and when I have the time. That's what it's all about, making sure that you give yourself a chance before you even get out of the box. So. I hope you love my closet. I know I'm loving it. Come back soon for step four. That'll be how I decide and how I organize the photos we are actually going to load up for the book. I'll see you next time.